Buspirone is a drug that is used to treat anxiety. In this mnemonic video, I'll show you my tricks for remembering Buspirone, its mechanism of action, and clinical use. It's Friday at 5 p.m., and our commuter here has just left the office and is planning for the weekend. He just needs to catch the... Oh no! This is not a great way to start the weekend! Our commuter has been left in the cloud of fumes after he missed the bus home! Actually, doesn't that bus here remind you of Buspirone? Get that? Like, bus Spirone? It's the Buspirone bus! And our commuter here is none too pleased to be missing his ride home. Let's learn a little more about why our commuter missed the bus as we explore the mechanism of Buspirone. Well, 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 looks like our commuter here might have been a little bit distracted as he was walking to the bus stop. He'd been making weekend plans with a friend on his phone and didn't notice that the bus was waiting at the stop. Just look at all those happy face emojis in his text thread. Actually, those happy face emojis, don't they remind you of serotonin? You know, since serotonin is that neurotransmitter that makes you feel good and put on a happy face, this is all to remind you that Buspirone acts on serotonin receptors. But those happy faces on the phone aren't the only ones in this scene. See that peeling happy face sticker on the bus stop pole? Since these stickers are always stuck on bus poles, am I right? The peeling happy face sticker reminds me that Buspirone is more specifically a partial agonist at serotonin receptors. Got that? Because that peeling sticker only partially reveals the smiley face just like buspirone only partially stimulates serotonin receptors. For extra points, you can remember that buspirone specifically acts at serotonin 1A receptors in the brain, but the test will almost never ask you to distinguish between different types of serotonin receptors. For test A, it's far more important to just focus on what neurotransmitter each drug modulates. Just key in on the smiley faces in this scene to remember that buspirone is a partial agonist of serotonin receptors. And just look at the face on our commuter after this mishap. He looks incredibly anxious after missing his bus. His anxious face reminds us that buspirone is an antioxidant, or a drug used to treat anxiety. If only he had caught that buspirone bus, he wouldn't have that anxious face anymore. Buspirone is the second-line treatment for general anxiety disorder after SSRIs and SNRIs. While buspirone may be less effective than these first-line treatments, it also has fewer side effects when compared to SSRIs and SNRIs, and can be used in patients who do not tolerate those medications well. Still with me? Just think back to the anxiety you feel after missing a bus to remember that buspirone treats anxiety. Okay, why is this guy so anxious? You missed the bus, buddy, so what? There's always a next bus, right? Let's just see when the next bus is arriving on the sign, and it says, oh boy, now I see why this guy is so anxious. That sign over there says the next bus is arriving in two weeks? Hmm, actually, the arrival time in two weeks reminds me that it takes roughly two weeks for buspirone to have a therapeutic effect. Just remember that if this commuter started buspirone now, he'd be pretty calm by the time the next bus arrives in two weeks. Two weeks is a slow onset of action, which is important because the clinical response to buspirone can be delayed. So give buspirone some time to work, and definitely don't try to use buspirone for an acute anxiety attack or panic disorder which would require a much more rapid-acting medication. Got that? Before we close, we should take a moment to discuss the side effect profile of buspirone. As we mentioned earlier, buspirone is an antioxidant with a relatively favorable side effect profile compared to other anxiety treatments. Use of buspirone may be associated with a little dizziness, but buspirone is relatively free of the sexual and weight gain side effects of SSRIs and SNRIs. It's also important to note that buspirone is not a benzodiazepine, so it does not carry the same risk of tolerance, dependence, or withdrawal that come with using benzodiazepines to treat anxiety. In short, 
this is a pretty safe drug. I like to think that this drug is second line for treating anxiety after SSRIs and SNRIs only because it's less effective. Okay, that's it for Boospirone, short and sweet. Let's recap. Boospirone is a medication that acts as a partial agonist at serotonin receptors. This drug is a second-line treatment for general anxiety disorder. Remember that Boospirone has a slow onset of action, roughly taking two weeks before clinical symptoms improve. Geez, I may offer this poor guy a ride home. So I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.